Welcome to Shipwatch on, let's go check it out, the premier destination for maritime exploration. Today, we present an exclusive drone-led visual tour of a vessel that stands as a colossus in the refrigerated transport sector, the Prince of Seas. Join us as we unveil the sophistication and might of this reefer ship, a pivotal asset in the global supply chain. The Prince of Seas commands the waves under the flag of Panama, a hallmark of its expansive global reach. Operated by the esteemed Triton Schiffart from Germany, this vessel represents a legacy of maritime excellence. It currently sails as part of the Sea Trade Fleet, one of the largest reefer fleets in the shipping world. Delving into the dimensions of the Prince of Seas, we discover a vessel of remarkable stature, measuring 130 meters in length and has a breadth of 19 meters, with a gross tonnage that speaks to its substantial carrying capability. The deadweight tonnage of 7,387 metric tons give a rough idea into its vast capacity to ferry large quantities of cargo. Manufactured by the famous Kitani Hon Shipbuilding of Japan, the Prince of Seas embarked upon its maiden voyage in 1993. Since then, it has stood as a paragon of resilience, withstanding the relentless test of time and tide, a testament to the shipbuilding prowess that birthed it. With the help of a continued detailed maintenance regime and the passion of its owners we hope that this will continue. One of the frequently asked questions we get is, what is a reefer ship? Reefer ships, sometimes referred to as reefers, are cargo vessels with the ability to keep its cargo refrigerated. Reefers such as the Prince of Seas are the crucial link in maintaining the cold chain logistics for perishables and pharmaceuticals. This vessel ensures that from the tropics to the poles, every item entrusted to it arrives in pristine condition, sustaining markets and ensuring medicines are in a usable condition. The cargo is diverse, each requiring specific conditions for transport. Some of the cargo types include meats, dairy products, seafood, fruits, vegetables, and even pharmaceutical products that require controlled temperatures. Each of these items has specific requirements in terms of temperature and handling, and the Prince of Seas is equipped to cater to these needs, ensuring the cargo arrives in prime condition. Our focus shifts to one of the Prince of Sea's most noticeable features, its large sticking up pulley style lifting gear. These are known as derricks. Prince of Seas is fitted with a suite of eight derricks, each with a five metric ton lifting capacity. These can be used individually as a group of eight, or in a union setup as a group of four. Due to the vessel's lifting apparatus, it is extremely good in loading and unloading operations. We can see the lifting gear in action here shuffling items around on deck. The union mode where two work together allows greater precision when handling delicate loads. The Prince of Seas has kept her original name since she was built in 1993. Although the overarching ownership company has altered, she has always been part of the Sea Trade Group. Sea Trade themselves are known to run a reliable service when it comes to shipping items. Having been in business since 1951, they have become one of the major titans in the shipping of perishables and other sensitive cargoes. They have built up a fleet of almost 100 reefer-style ships which they have in operation today. The footage here today was all filmed at Margate Roads Anchorage at the entrance to the Thames Estuary in North Kent. This anchorage is frequently used to shelter from incoming stormy weather and high winds. It is also used as a waiting area for further orders or unloading slots to free up at various ports. There is a pilot service which operates in and around the anchorage to assist the ships due to there being a difficult to spot sandbank nearby which becomes visible at low tide only.
As our journey alongside Prince of Seas concludes, we thank you for your viewership. Should this glimpse into the vessel's life at sea have piqued your interest, we invite you to like and share this episode, and to subscribe for more content. Join us again on Let's Go Check It Out, where the adventure never ends and the sea beckons. We would love to hear from you, leave a comment below and join our growing community.